But nowhere in Ephesians 2 and 3 or here in Philippians or elsewhere are Christians called to create unity, to generate unity based on some external program. Always the emphasis is that unity has been achieved in Christ. And so we receive it, we understand it, and we live in light of it. We look around at our brothers and sisters who are adopted into the family of God and we count them reconciled to God and we're reconciled to one another and we practice this. And so brothers and sisters, that does not happen by a diversity program. As all of our world is trying to push, it does not happen by the divisive and destructive ideologies of critical race theory, for example, that focuses on on all the differences of groups and individuals and categorizes them against one another and groups them in those ways and structures them in those ways. That is a satanic philosophy to be rejected, and it's tragic. How many evangelicals have bought it in and brought it in and adopted it? Well, that's a system that we can count the colors in our congregation and we can promote how diverse we are. What? As if we're looking for a score in the world's game. That kind of focus on the fleshly appearance of people is an external, worldly approach. Unity is accomplished by who Jesus is and what He's done that unifies us spiritually, that we receive that and we rejoice in that and we exalt Him and look at Him and as we look at Him together, we're not looking at ourselves anymore. And all of a sudden, we notice we're unified. 